If you've been following Tesla's trucking project over the past few years, you'll know it's been a long road from prototype to production. The first version of the Tesla Semi rolled out in limited numbers, just a few dozen units, and went straight into the hands of carefully chosen customers. PepsiCo, Walmart, and a few other big names put them to work, mostly in urban areas where charging was easy and winter weather wasn't a threat. The feedback was encouraging, but not without a few warnings. Drivers loved the smooth acceleration, quiet ride, and reduced fatigue compared to diesel rigs. But the trucks had their limits. They weren't built to thrive in extreme cold, and the range wasn't quite ready for every type of freight route. Tesla knew these early models were just the beginning. At their dedicated semi-facility in Nevada, change is happening fast. The place has been packed with over a thousand new workers and engineers, all focused on building the second generation of the Tesla Semi. This isn't just a minor refresh. They're swapping in a new battery system, reworking the headlights, tweaking the aerodynamics, and adding nearly 20 separate improvements that have been tested over years of real-world trials. Production is expected to begin this October, and if Tesla's ramp-up goes to plan, they want to be producing 50,000 of these trucks a year by the end of 2026. When the semi was first revealed back in 2017, it was almost impossible to believe what Tesla was promising. Traditional Class 8 trucks weigh as much as 80,000 pounds when fully loaded, and electric versions were considered impractical by many in the industry. The problem was simple. Batteries heavy enough to move that kind of weight for hundreds of miles were themselves so massive they killed the truck's efficiency. Elon Musk didn't accept that. He claimed Tesla could make a truck that could go 500 miles on a single charge, loaded to capacity, and around 800 miles when empty. Along the way, it could save a fleet operator up to a million gallons of diesel over its lifespan, which works out to millions of dollars in fuel savings. That's where his now-famous line came from, calling the Semi a money-making machine. Not everyone jumped at the chance to order one. The price tag alone was enough to make smaller carriers hesitate. But for companies with large fleets, the math was compelling. Fuel savings, reduced maintenance, and better driver comfort made the idea attractive. As more of Tesla's own charging infrastructure came online, the case for switching grew stronger. Tesla is already building a network of high-powered mega chargers that can deliver 1.2 megawatts of power. That's enough to give a truck a significant boost in range during a short stop. They've mapped out 46 public charging sites across the U.S. to be active by 2027, many located on key freight corridors. For trucking companies, this means less waiting around and more miles covered in a day. Back in 2017, Tesla priced the Semi at $150,000 for the 300-mile version, $180,000 for the 500-mile model, and $200,000 for a special Founders Edition. Those prices undercut many diesel competitors and promised big lifetime savings. But in the years since, battery technology has advanced, inflation has driven up material costs, and the trucks themselves have gained more features. Some recent pilot program orders have seen prices around $400,000 per truck. That sounds steep until you run the numbers. Diesel trucks cost roughly 45 cents per mile in fuel. The semi's energy use brings that down to about 13 cents. Over a million miles, that difference alone saves more than $300,000. Add in reduced maintenance, fewer moving parts, no oil changes, fewer brake replacements thanks to regenerative braking, and the savings grow even more. For companies running multiple daily routes, the payback period can be surprisingly short. Still, Tesla is being cautious. They've only built around 500 units so far, with half delivered to customers and the rest used for testing. Early partners like PepsiCo are running them on real-world routes to give Tesla feedback. The trial period lasts two years, giving engineers time to fine-tune the design before committing to full-scale production. Some of the planned changes are already coming to light. The headlights are getting a redesign, the aerodynamics have been improved, and Tesla is working on a sleeper cab option for long-haul work. Perhaps the biggest upgrade will be the move from the older 2,170 battery cells to Tesla's newer 4,680 format. The 4680 cells pack more energy, generate less heat, and are safer in the event of a crash. They're also larger, 
which allows them to be integrated into the truck structure, improving strength and reducing weight. For the semi, that means better range, quicker charging, and a longer battery lifespan. Tesla is building a dedicated production line for these batteries in Nevada, alongside the new semi-assembly lines. Aerodynamics have always been a major focus. The first-generation semi already had a drag coefficient far lower than any other Class 8 truck, and the new model pushes it further. Everything from the wheel covers to the underbody has been shaped to keep airflow smooth and reduce turbulence. Retractable side skirts close the gap between tractor and trailer, cutting drag even more. The powertrain still uses three electric motors, delivering instant torque and steady pulling power on steep grades. Thanks to improvements in battery chemistry and design, the truck uses less energy per mile than before, under 1.85 kWh per mile when fully loaded, which is incredibly low for something of its size. Lighter battery packs also mean a higher payload capacity without sacrificing handling. Inside, the cab is unlike anything in the industry. The driver's seat is centered, giving equal visibility on both sides and eliminating the blind spots created by traditional layouts. Two large touchscreens on either side of the steering wheel display navigation, vehicle stats, and camera feeds. The passenger side features a drop glass door, making it easy to check cargo or speak with someone outside without leaving the cab. There's even an option for a heads-up display, projecting key information directly onto the windshield so the driver doesn't need to glance away from the road. Driver comfort has been a key design point. Tesla claims the layout can reduce fatigue by as much as 15% on long hauls. And in the near future, the semi is expected to support Tesla's full self-driving system, which could make long-distance freight less exhausting for operators. While the semi's future looks promising, there's still work to do. The charging network has to expand quickly enough to support widespread adoption, especially for long-haul trucking where time is money. Tesla's plan for 46 public megacharger sites by 2027 is ambitious, but the real test will be how well those locations serve the busiest freight routes. Competition is heating up too. Traditional truck makers like Daimler and Volvo are pushing their own electric models, but they face challenges matching Tesla's battery integration and vertical supply chain. Tesla builds its own motors, develops its own battery chemistry, and designs its own charging systems, advantages that could keep them ahead for years. For now, the second-generation Tesla Semi represents more than just a new truck. It's a statement about where freight transport could be heading. Cleaner, quieter, and more efficient than diesel, with the potential to cut operating costs in ways that once seemed impossible. Whether Tesla can hit its ambitious production targets remains to be seen. The trucking industry moves slowly when it comes to adopting new technology, but if the Gen 2 Semi delivers on its promises, range, cost savings, driver comfort, and charging speed, it could tip the balance toward electrification much faster than anyone expected. The next year will be telling. As production starts in Nevada and the first Gen 2 trucks roll out to customers, the feedback will show whether Tesla has built not just a better truck, but a truly viable replacement for diesel in long-haul freight. If they succeed, the semi won't just be another product launch. It could be the turning point for an entire industry.